Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Miss Toto and I have a special guest today. Who is it? <laughs> Jenna. Jenna. Um, as you guys know or may not know, this is my oldest daughter, Jenna. And today we're going to be experimenting. Um, if you've seen in the title below, you've probably seen that it said that I dyed my daughter's hair. Well, I didn't quite dye it. I just, you know, gave her a little color with some paint. Um, so this is some temporary paint that we that I've uh, seen circling around the internet and YouTube, and it goes really well on natural hair. So I wanted to try it on me and her, but since I have these spring twists, I can't try it just yet. So she's gonna be the first guinea guinea pig, the first candidate of this whole coloring scheme. So the two colors that I got was this red because I know that she's into red. She always want red tips of something. So I got red and then I got purple. Um, the purple I got for me specifically because I didn't want nothing that was like too bold. And when I seen other YouTubers do it, this is like a subtle deep purple. It's not like a, you know, like a very vibrant purple. So I went with that one. This red though, it looks pink. Um, I don't see. If, I don't know if you guys will be able to actually see it in the camera. It probably looks more red on the camera, but this looks pink in person. So she doesn't want to try this because she doesn't want pink hair. Even though we're not doing her whole head, we would probably need this whole jar if we did. But we're just gonna do a little um, ombre effect where we do half of her hair, probably about this much and down um so that's what we're gonna do uh, her hair is not clean it's not washed it would be pointless to wash her hair um and go through the whole process detangle it and then put the temporary color on her hair and then have to wash it back out the next week so we're gonna do this on dirty hair tangled hair of course i have to detangle it first um but as i detangle it and get all the tangles out I'm going to allow her to actually put this on her hair. So she's going to be doing her hair today, too. Um, so, yeah, she's going to put it on. I'm going to tell her how far to go. Because I was going to do it, but then I can't get it all caught up in my nails. Ain't nobody got time for that. I'm trying to uh, be trying to dig out color. and Yeah. So she's going to do that part. I'm, unless I can find some gloves to actually do this, which I don't think I have any. <laughs> she's going to be helping me um, distribute, distribute this color throughout her hair. So what we're going to do is get started. Um, I'm going to section off her hair like I usually do, start from the back and um, detangle it section by section. And when I get done detangling that section, she's going to rub the um, the purple paint color on her hair. And let me show you. I don't think I showed you. But this is what this looks like. Yep. And this is the, it's called Hair Paint Wax, a splash of color. And I'll just list this below um, and also the link where I got it from. So we are going to go ahead and get started and you guys can enjoy. Of course, I'm going to fast forward because her hair is too long and too thick to be for you guys to be watching me do one section that's going to take 100 hours. No, not for real, but if you like it. All right, guys, so we got this section all detangled. Put my fingers through it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have her take the um, paint wax and start putting it on the ends of her hair, working her, her way all the way to about here. So that's about half the length of her hair. Once she applies it, then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and twist it up into like a regular two strand twist. Twist out, I'm not even in the frame. Um, like a regular two-strand twist, um, and then we'll keep going from there. All right, Jenna, grab the paint. Like I said, we're going, we're going with purple, so it's going to be royalty up in here. But hey, you know what? Let me. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some oil on her hair too before because I heard it gets like crunchy or whatever after it dries so hopefully it's going to soften it up a little bit. So yeah, I'm just going to use this oil. 
and I told you guys about this oil in my last video. If you want to know about this oil, go ahead and watch the other video. Okay. So I'm just going to take a little bit. Take the palm of your hand, scoop, not a whole bunch though. Cause then, you know, you're trying to make this last. Scoop. Come on, not that much. Not that much. <laughs> um, more than that. <laughs> we hope you're struggling. <laughs> that's good, that's good, that's good. All right, show them how much you got on your hands, your fingertips. That much. Let's see how far this goes. Okay, so go ahead and start. And I want to have to get in there and help her because I just want to start. I just rub it in there. But my nails, y'all. My nails. Okay. Also. Melted crayon. That's what it's like. I'm gonna twist this up so we can get more definition, and then tomorrow is when we're actually going to um, untwist it to see the final result. So you guys can just keep on watching. Thank you.